and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to recreate this geometric pattern. I don't know what the official name of it is but I've used it as a Zentangle pattern and I thought it would be interesting to show you how it's done. You can see these are all individual lines. It looks like it's very time consuming but it's not once you've understood the basic principle we need the snapping enabled and make sure snap to pass is active. And then we only need the Bezier tool and the selection tool, but first let us create a rectangle as an outline. I hold control when I drag it, then get rid of the fill by clicking on the X, then on shift click on a black color swatch to get rid of stroke, control D to copy it. We need four, and let's make it two times four. So I copy this group and drag it downwards. So this is the starting point. And now we need the Bezier tool, short key for that is B. And if you press S, you've got the selection tool active and then deselect this line. That's an important step. You'll have to do it time and time again to recreate the geometric pattern. So let us use B, the Bezier tool. We'll start right here. The snap to pass helps. And now we want to snap it to the green line, but that doesn't work. So we'll have to press S, then deselect the line. And now we can continue. So always create these open triangles where you only create two lines instead of three. And then deselect them by pressing S and then left click somewhere. When you make these lines very close to one another, the density is going to be higher. I'm going to leave a little bit of space so that I can show you this more quickly. But the ones that I've shown you prior, it had a much higher density. So once you've got this block done, just copy it, pressing Ctrl D, get rid of the rectangle, so the outline, and then always copy this. Once again, Ctrl D, and then reposition it. It fits right here. For the other positions, once again, Ctrl D to copy, and then flip it with the top functions, and reposition them right here. I haven't hit that point correctly. Let me press Ctrl Z. And then I start here again, I flip it. So this is the best way to reposition them. I zoom in holding control and then I use the mouse wheel. And for the final group, I'll rotate this one. So double click on it with the selection tool and then I hold control when I rotate it. And then it fits the right position. So these are the triangle groups. For the other fields, we will create rectangles. So instead of having open triangles, we'll have open rectangles and it needs three lines instead of two, but it's still the same process. So press B for the Bezier tool. And once you're going to hit the green line, just press S, deselect it, and then press B again for the Bezier tool and start over again with the next lines.
And once you've got this, Control D. Get rid of the outer rectangle. And then always Control D to copy and reposition them. So as I've said, this example is a little bit more open. The density is lower, but it's still the same pattern. You can flip these right here and change the feel a little bit. It's easy to do with the top function. You can also select it all, Ctrl A, increase the stroke if you want to on the object fill in stroke. And once you've got what you want, just press Ctrl G to group it all, and then you can export this entangle geometric pattern in Inkscape. If there are further questions about that, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.